Good day everyone, today we will teach you on how you can build a Wi-Fi vendor machine without using the custom board. This was the very first setup that was made before the custom boards were introduced. Let us go ahead and start. First, go ahead and prepare a wire with a female adapter for a charger. Make sure that there is an indicator for the negative and the positive wire, just like this. You will also need a 12 volts 5 amps charger, just like this. Next, you will also be needing dopant wires. It is preferable if it is a female to female connection. And you will also need a 5 volts 2 amps charger adapter with a USB cable for its wire. We will also need an orange Pi board, as you can see, just like this. And we will also need an SD card at least 16GB that is already flashed with the Adobe Pi Soft software. If you don't know how to flash it, there is a tutorial on our channel, just check it on the already uploaded videos. We will also need a LAN wire, um, at least 3 to 4 meters. And we also need an AP or access point. For this one, we will be using a Mercosis. Next, we also have here a universal coin slot. This accepts all kinds of coins and you can configure this if ever you are introducing new coins. Now that we're done with the preparations, let us go ahead and start assembling our machine. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to connect the wire with the adapter for the charger into our coin slot. So let us untie this one. The red wire on the one with the adapter will be connected also on the red wire for the coin slot. Let us set it aside for the moment and now we will go ahead and connect the black wire for the coin slot and also from the one with the adapter. After that, go ahead and secure the connection with an electrical tape. After you have secured the connection, go ahead and sort it out for the meantime because we will need to cut out the two other wires on this one and we don't want to cut the ones that we have already connected. On the coin slot side, we need to cut two white wires, the one beside the red wire and the one beside the black wire because we will not be using it anymore. The remaining white wire which is in between the red and black wire is the one that we will be using and we need to connect it to a female dopant wire because the other end will then be connected to the pin on the OPI board.
Now let us go ahead and connect the wire into the coin slot. When you are connecting the wire to the coin slot, there should be a mark that you can use as a guide. There should be the 12 volts, below that is the coin, and below that is also the ground. So those are the three marks that you need to look out for when you are connecting it. On the other end, so for the wires, the red should be on the 12 volts, the white should be on the coin, and the black should be on the ground. After that, go ahead and get the 12 volts 5 amps charger and connect it to the adapter that is connected to the coin slot. This will be the one that will power the coin slot. Then we will also be needing two female dupont wires. For this one, it needs to be female on both sides because the other side will be connected on the coin slot and the other side will be connected on the OPI board. So on the coin slot, there are two slots. The first one is set and the other one is ground. So when you connect the dupont wires, remember where you connect it because it will matter when we are already connecting it to the OPI board. We now have our OPI board here and also our SD card that is already flashed with the Adopi soft software. There is a tutorial in our YouTube channel if you don't know how to flash the software into the SD card, you can go ahead and watch it for more guidance. Let us now get the white wire on the coin slot and connect it on the OPI board. Count from the top, from left to right, 1, 2, 3, and connect it to pin number 3. That is how you count the pins on the OPI board. After that, we need to connect the wire also from the coin slot to pin number 5. So the same counting from left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and connect it on that pin. This dupont wire, by the way, is the one that is on the upper side of the coin slot. Here, let me show you. So as you can see, this one is the one that is on the upper side and connect it to pin number five. After that, the remaining wire on the coin slot, which is on the ground, the one that is on the lower end, will be connected to pin number nine on the OPI board. After that, get the USB to LAN adapter and connect it to your OPI board. Next, get your LAN wire and connect it to the USB to LAN adapter. Then after that, connect your LAN wire to your access point. In this video, by the way, we are using a Mercosis access point and this one is already configured. We have a video in our YouTube channel on how you can configure the Mercosis. Connect the charger of the Mercosis which was the 12 volts and 5 amps charger and also the 5 volts and 2 amps charger with the USB cable for the OPI.
we have three chargers overall one for the coin slot one for the OPI board and also one for the Mercosis which is the access point and lastly we need a wired internet connection that we can connect to our OPI board Now that we are all set and done, let us go ahead and test our setup. You can get a mobile phone or any device that can connect to the internet so that we can test our setup. So once you connect to our access point, then a portal should pop up where it says you can buy internet. So please wait for a few moments. And as you can see, it is now popping up or showing up. Now go ahead and click buy Wi-Fi. Prepare some coins and go ahead click the insert coin option. By the way, the coin that you need to prepare is the currency that you use to configure the coin slot. So in this video, we are using a peso currency. We are now inserting the coin into the coin slot after we press the insert coin option. Once you are done inserting the coin, you can click the I'm done paying button on the portal. And you are now connected to the internet for a time duration depending on the amount you have entered into the coin slot. and it works i hope you have learned something new today that would be all and see you next time